Welcome to Roll and Relax. I am Claudia Mühlenweg. I'm the founder of Holistic Vision and the creator of a naturally clear vision method. And um, I'm also a yoga teacher and I'm a role model method practitioner. It's a mouthful. Um, the role model method is what we're doing here. We're using these little therapy balls um, from Tune Up Fitness to massage our muscles, our fascias to release any tension. And today I wanted to focus, the main focus is the forearms and the hands. But we will start with the pecs. The pec minor is here, the pec major and minor are kind of here on the chest, but it's, you know, it's, it's reaching out down to the arms. So we will start with that practice. If you've been um, enjoying these classes and you've been working with me live, you can do this at the wall also. I will show it on the floor today. So, but you can do this at the wall. And I just wanted to show you, I started doing this yesterday. Everybody loved this. So these are little flashcards of the muscles. So the pec major, is this big, hold on, here we go. The, the, this big muscle on the chest and then the pec minor is the one more near the armpit. So those are muscles that tend to get tight. We sit hunched over, you know, we're typing on the computer and that's why our forearms and the hands can really have a lot of tension. So that's what we will start with. So those pec major minor. And again, if you do this at the wall, you need a corner where you, so you have a corner and I'm just pretending this is a corner. So you would place the ball right here, and then this is the corner, and you lean against that in the lunge, and then you, you so your back leg would be straight, and you can press into that ball, and then um, just press, feel the tension. Always start with just sustained compression, and then you can um, turn your head side to side, you can move that arm. If let's say you're doing this side, you can move that arm around and just explore. But if you have two thick books or two yoga blocks, or just even if you just have one, you can do one side at a time. Let me see how I have to turn my mat around so that you can see it. So the setup is, if you have, I'm just demonstrating with two at the same time. If you only have one, then you just do one. Let me see, I probably have to do it, move it like this. <laughs> I wanna make sure you see. So the, so the blocks are kind of like, like in an angled position like this. Your head will go in the middle. You take the balls out of the toad and I'm using the small yoga tuna balls. You can also use, the plus balls, these slightly bigger ones. And if you have, I, I think maybe some of you, if you happen to have two of these big alpha balls, they usually they, they come on their own. But if you have two of these, you don't need the blocks. You can do it directly on the, on the floor, right? With two alpha balls, you could put them directly on the floor. Or if you have one, you can just do one at a time too. So you can do it like you place them right here and then we will start doing this practice. But the, only when you do have the big ones. So I'm using the small ones. I'm using two yoga blocks. You can use box. It's totally fine. We just need a space for the head. <laughs> and then you put the two balls here. And this might be really intense for some of you. If this is too much, you can do the version at the corner, at the wall, or you can just do one at a time. But you basically kind of nestle those. It's a little bit of negotiation here. But you want to bring those balls. Yeah, can you see that? So you want to bring those balls onto the peck. And yeah, I already feel something. <laughs> Again, if this is too much, use bigger balls or go to the wall because at the wall you have a little bit more control. Right here you have your whole torso. Yeah, it's a little bit of, once you get the situation, once you get settled, it feels good. And then lower your head down. If your head doesn't reach the floor, you, maybe you put a cushion there. I'm gonna keep mine up so you hear what I'm saying, but you want to relax your head down. And then just start breathing in and out. Just relax, have your palms face up to the ceiling. Just relax and breathe for 10 deep breaths. Hmm. And if you don't feel something, you can always Kind of move the balls around a little bit, move them a little more inward or just find the spot. And again, if you only have one block or one book, you can do one side at a time. And then the next move, so again, I, I want you to have your head on the floor just to look and then relax the head back down. So the next thing is just shoulder extension. So all you're doing is moving your shoulder, like your arms up. So technically this is called, so you're moving. So inhale, lift your, and it depends on your mobility how far up your arms go. 
and you can also squeeze them in, but that's not necessary. Just extend and maybe come a little, I have to come a little bit more forward to feel something. So inhale, reach up, exhale, lower down. So do that like 10 more times, just reaching the arms up and back. I mean, yeah, reach the hands back. <laughs> Mm, so this is stretching the pecs, makes it more intense. If this is super painful, then go to the wall or don't do this extension, just kind of breathe into the, like what we started with. So don't do that movement. Movement always makes it more intense. All right, and then the next one, so the next one starts exactly like this. You lift up and it's kind of a dolphin swimmer move. So you turn your palms toward the front, and then you reach all the way to the front. So it's as if you, and then you, as if you're swimming, like, um, like the dolphin swim move, and then you relax the arms back down. So you start inhaling, reaching forward all the way. And if this doesn't make you feel something, then I don't know what does. <laughs> and then go back. And you might have to reset the balls or the blocks sometime. So inhale, reach up and then scooch forward, rotate your arms. So in the top position, it's almost like your palms will be touching. But you know, if you only come to here, that's fine. It depends on your mobility. But this actually improves your range of motion. You can always relax back between those moves. You can always take a break, like have a breath between you to the next one. This is one of my favorite moves because you get both at the same time. And if you, again, if you only have one block, you just do a few with one side and then you switch to the other side. And if you have one block, you would obviously need your other hand to kind of press into the floor as if you were doing push-ups so that you have enough weight on that ball. And then we come back to the starting point. And then we can do a breast kind of stroke. So it's a little different. So you're doing this like, oops, one ball escaped. <laughs> so sometimes you have to get them back into position. Oh yeah. It's always good to also find a spot, like just maybe move the balls in or a little lower, just find a new spot. And they will move a little bit as you do this swimming move. So breast stroke. <clears throat> Don't forget the breathe. All right, so that was that one. And if you want to continue on the other side, um, do so. I give you a, a moment to do that. But yeah, you can, I'm just gonna show it. If you have only one block, should have maybe showed that at the beginning, but you would basically, you know, you would need this other hand to kind of make sure that you have enough weight, but then you would just do this. So this works also. So if you do the swimming move, lift up and then around and then back. So you can definitely do one side at a time. It's just you have to kind of make sure because if you just relax here, there's no pressure on the ball. But now that you know how it works, you can also do it on, on your own. Oops, I need to put that up. <laughs> it's always the adjustments of the screen. So, so the next thing we want to do is the forearms. And for that, I put the balls in the toad. You can also use the yoga, if you have the bigger ones, the plus balls. You can use the plus balls. You can also use this, but it depends. Like I like, I actually like the two balls together better. And let me see. So there's a whole lot of muscles here. I just wanted to show you how insane. So on the, so the, when we do this, this is called flexion, right? So the muscles that are working are these muscles. And when we do this, it's extension. It's the muscles on top. And I just show you one. So this is flexion. It's like on the other underside of the arms there is a whole lot there's like so many muscles this is just one of them called flexor digitorum superficialis <laughs> here's the name if you can see that and then the extension which is the top of the arm if you you know and this is what we do a lot when we type right we have that kind of depending on the setup we do a lot of so i just wanted to show you how many muscles there are it's really crazy so this is the main one that we that we'll be rolling on. It's called extensor digitorum. Here we go. But there's so 
look at all these muscles in the arm. I mean, that's just, that's, there's so many. So they are all like, and this is actually really interesting. See how every muscle, every finger has its own muscle. Can you see that? It, I think it's just, and that's by the way, the same for the feet. And that's why when, if you did my third class with the feet and we were trying to lift the big toes separate from the small ones, we have all these muscles in the feet too for each toe. But because we put our feet in, in shoes, that's why we lose that ability. And that's one good thing to practice. So this, so we will be doing the forearms. And if you have one, I like to actually stack two blocks just because I don't have to lean down that much. But either way, or if you have two, you can make, build a longer runway. Let me actually move the mat a little to the side. Oops. Okay. And I'm just using the time for you to set up. Some of you were asking me yesterday. So this is the, the flashcard. If you're like an anatomy geek, they, they come in flashcards. But what I also love is this book. So this is a book from massage therapists. And it really goes into, it explains every single muscle, the action of it. So it's basically the same um, as the flashcards. It's just broken into a book. So this is a really great resource. If you, if you really want to learn more, but you obviously don't have to. All right, so get your, I'm going to show it with two blocks, but again, if you just have one, that's totally fine. So you start, let's start with the bottom side of the arm, the flexor, right? That muscle that creates it. And so I like to use my other hand. Let's see if I can do it a little bit more sideways so you see this better. So you're basically rolling and you have to negotiate the space of your block or your book, right? So how, and just check in if there's an area that's tighter. You can squeeze down with that other hand. You can use your body weight. For now, just relax the hand. So just move back and forth. I'm not, so for me, the flexor is usually not the one that's really tight. For me, it's usually the other side, the extensor and extensor. But then if you find a spot where it's kind of a little tense, you can also like rotate. So you rotate your arm a little bit around to the outside or inside and just see if there's an area where you feel anything is tight. And then you can circle your hand, you know, do those movements. Go the other way. Yeah, so you control how much pressure. So usually closer to the elbow is where I feel something. Breathe. So I don't feel that much on the flexor side. So let's do the other one. So you flip your, you flip your arm around. And this is usually where I feel something. So start by just relaxing the wrists. And also notice like if it's more on the thumb side or more on the pinky side, so you can rotate your arm a little bit. And when you find a good spot, so this is the extensor, right? The muscle that we're working on. So it does this movement. So notice when I, when I for instance, when I do activate that muscle by pushing my hand down, now I feel something. So if you find a spot that feels good, do that kind of like as if you're like, hey, come on closer. Forget the social distancing. Actually, I like the word uh, physical distancing um, because we are socially connected right now, but we are physically um, distanced. So, but you know, as if you're waving somebody, ooh, ah. or just hold a spot, breathe. Hmm. And then you can also make circles. Like, you know, those traffic cops are like, come on, go. <laughs> right now, they don't have that much work to do. And then maybe go the other way. And then find another spot, usually closer to the elbow. Like, usually, like, this area can get really tight, closer to the elbow. And for me, it's more the thumb side, but maybe for you, it's more the pinky side. But, you know, you can rotate your arm a little bit and then use that other hand to create extra pressure. Oh, yeah. Hmm. And if it's super intense and you have the plus balls, the bigger balls will always um, reduce the amount of pressure because the, the surface area is a little bigger. Definitely feeling something here. 
And that's what I mean. We do a lot of that typing. So usually the extensors are tighter, but maybe for you it's different. And you can do a little bit of rolling again and maybe keep that wrist extended. Yeah, this is definitely where I feel it. <laughs> Ooh, ah. And I'm right-handed, so you know that's also an effect. If you are, if it's your dominant hand, the one that you're doing, it's probably tighter than the other. But let's see, maybe not. It's always surprising what the body is showing up with. Oops. Man, how's that? Do you guys enjoy that? Okay, now other one. Let me see if I rotate it this way. And again, you don't need, you know, you don't need two blocks. It's totally fine with one block, but as what you, what you need, you need, you want to, so what two blocks give you a little bit more ability to do this flip, right? But um, if you have one, that's fine. You still get, you can always bend your fingers. You can still get that extension. So let's start with a forearm. But I'm going back to two. I just want to make sure that you don't think if you don't have two blocks, this is wrong. You're totally cool. But I like to come on, like really lean my weight. So relax the wrist and just explore if there's an area where you feel more or less. Yeah, for the flexors, I have to say, for me, that's, that's not really that much. You know, and if you find a spot where it hurts, you can definitely kind of lean into that and just press, breathe. Maybe move your, rotate your arm a little bit. So what I'm doing here, I'm rotating from front to back. So sometimes we find, you know, like some angle that's kind of in between the extensor and the flexor side. So it's neither down nor up, it's kind of right in between. And if you want, you can also add that circling the hand. So adding motion that always makes it more intense. And the action of this muscle is again, when you flex your hands. So when you do this movement, and so maybe do that and see if you, oh, it's actually shaking for me here. If you see, if you flex your hand, if you feel, that's how you activate that muscle. And usually when you activate it is when, and then you press, that's when you get the, biggest impact. Yeah. For me, it's definitely like this area right here on the outer, like almost like between the top and bottom on that near the elbow is where I feel the most. And interestingly enough, I feel more on my left side, which that's what I'm saying. It's always the body defies the logic. What we do, <laughs> what our mind tells us to do and what we do unconsciously is not always following the logic of dominant side or okay all right and then i'm flipping to the other side if you have a lot of pain there and maybe test the extensor side first and notice but you want to spend the most amount of time where you feel something so you don't have to worry about doing the equal amount of time on each side just work on that area that has the most tension if you don't feel anything you know you can move on so yeah but this is the extensor for me on this side is definitely less painful than on the right side. A little bit right here in the middle. Yeah, here. And then, so again, you activate that muscle by extending your arm, so your hand. So doing this. And then, you know, maybe do that waving. Find a spot that hurts. And if you, if you have enough pain without pressing into it, you don't have to do that. But if you want to get more, you can kind of use that other hand. And then your body weight, obviously, right? You're leaning into that. Yeah. Ooh. Maybe do some circles. And then roll a little bit more. This is, this is often very neglected, this, this area. Again, keeping your hand in extension definitely activates that muscle, so it makes it more intense. And if you have a good spot, I have a good spot right now. I'm just relaxing my hand and just pressing into that. So it's totally fine to just do that sustained compression without adding motion, and then maybe add some motion. Hmm. Wow. How is that? Let me look at the time. Oh, we're good on time. How is that? So you can obviously do more and you can do this, by the way, you can do this also at a kitchen table or any table, but you want to have 
you know, a lower table where you can really lean into that. I love it, says uh, Grace. Yeah, this is a good one, right? I mean, we, we use our forearms so much. We, we, we can also do upper arms. There's also tension, um, especially the deltoids are good to do at the wall. Um, I, I haven't really found something that's really great for the biceps yet. But um, anyway, so maybe shake it out. <sighs> okay, so next thing is the hands. And this is also really fascinating. So the biggest, like the, on, the, on the palm, right? It's like this, this pad here. I couldn't find the exact mu like muscle, but this is kind of, that's one of them. It's called adductor, I don't know how to pronounce it, polysinus, polysinus. So adduction is adding, right? So if you, every time you see, like in a, anatomy-wise, if you see add, it's bringing to the midline. So what it does, this muscle, the main job is adduction, bringing it back down here. And then abduction, think of being abducted, like moved away, is when you move your thumb. So that muscle is very, like, on, like, next to it. But this is the, the muscle, the big fat muscle that is like the adduction. So it's adding the thumb back down. But look at how many, here the hand, muscles of the hand. And I mean, if it's, it's like, there's four cards just for the muscles of the hand. I mean, this is like how many crazy little muscles we have in there that, that help us do all those things. And then again, each, each, you see it here really well, each hand, each finger has its own muscle. And that's the same with the toes. Like I said earlier, except with the toes, we stick our feet. And that's why I encourage everybody, like, especially now that we work from home, work, like walk barefoot, like stop wearing shoes, like especially high heel shoes for women. I can, I can go on a rant here, but we're really destroying with high heel shoes, you're destroying everything, your spine, your hips, your calves are getting away from it. Anyway, um, okay, let's go. You need one ball, you need one ball and you, one block is okay. And if you don't have a kitchen table, can you mute yourself, somebody? Uh, not unmute, sorry, mute, mute yourself. Uh, who is this? Okay, you get a mute. Okay. All right, good. So put the ball on the table or the block or whatever you have, and then we will start with splits. So you kind of, here we go. So you, you just start by pressing into this space. It's kind of that this right here. So you start by pressing in and maybe you don't feel anything, just press. Don't forget to breathe. I can always make sure we, this is something that we tend to forget. I guess my head is chopped off. <laughs> and now I want you to squeeze. So I want you to do this action, like adduct. That's what we are talking about. You want to bring the thumb to the hand. So you squeeze together and relax and then push down again and then squeeze as if you're trying to move the thumb, you're trying to squish that ball. And then press down. So a few more times, squeeze this together, like really get that thumb moving in, press down one more time. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. All right. And then the next is, so it's basically, I like to put the ball right here versus right in the middle, but explore right here where that thumb pad is. And then just, you know, I like, like as if you're squeezing a lemon or an orange and you want to make juice. So you kind of, again, you can use your other hand to add pressure. You can also just roll around and maybe explore other areas. But that thumb pad, that adductor muscle, that's usually one of the tightest ones. You can also just stay there and breathe and just relax your fingers. Hmm. I like that. This is like, you know, with texting nowadays, our fingers are doing things they were never <laughs> supposed to do, you know, especially the thumbs. It's like, you know, maybe a venture to the outside. You know, you can also kind of squish that ball. So just, you know, be creative here, you know, use your pressure, use the angle. This actually feels really good to me. So just kind of, as I'm trying to push the, as if the ball is gonna jump out, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm pushing the edge of my, this edge right here into the ball. 
That feels really good. And this is the, uh, the muscle high on top is the abductor. That's the one that moves the thumb away. And that's probably what we're doing a lot with texting. So, uh, all right, uh, this feels good, yeah. <laughs> and then other side. You know, this is, I'm right-handed, so let's see the difference. It's always surprising to me. So start by, you know, just pressing down. So it's like a stretching of this area. So you're pressing down into the ball. Breathe again. I have to be, I say this as much to myself as to you guys. <laughs> it's very common when we have any tension to hold our breath, which is not helpful. And then squeeze again, try to do that as if you're squeezing the thumb to toward the, and then press down. <sighs> I like to sigh it out sometimes just to remind myself that the world is not on our shoulders even though right now everything is crazy. Staying calm, we are all safe. We have water, we have power, we have internet. You know, we are, we are lucky. We are really, we can really be grateful. We have food, I'm assuming you have food, otherwise you probably wouldn't, wouldn't be here. I'm actually going to do a liver cleanse this weekend, so I'm gonna be fasting. I'm eating the rest of the stuff I have. Okay, squeeze down and then squeeze together one more time. All right, and then let's do that. Let's make some juice. <laughs> so again, it's usually this is the most tender area, but you can explore, right? Maybe for you there's other areas, but this is usually this fat little pad there. Not fat bad, but like that kind of thick muscle. So uh, it's interesting to me. This is almost more painful than the right side. Again, I would have thought the dominant side, but you know, the body has mysterious ways. So squeeze, you know, maybe. Again, I like this kind of edge thing. Let's see if that works. And you can always use the other hand, so I'm pressing. This is definitely less than on the other side here, this outer edge. So this one, for me at least. All right, so. This is, this is concludes the 30, isn't it crazy how fast 30 minutes go? But doesn't it feel good? So I hope to see you tomorrow. And if you have any requests for any, um, any, any body parts that you want to work on, then please, please join my Facebook group, See Clearly Without Glasses. It's mostly for vision improvement, but I'm also doing all these things in there. So join that group if you haven't done so. Post, um, if you have, if you like this, uh, please post maybe do a little video or share your experience. And if you're watching this on YouTube, then please post in the comments if this was helpful for you and what you liked about it. So I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.